Good evening. Tom is off tonight. I'm Michelle McCormack. A Greenville lawmaker is sounding the alarm about a busy intersection where he says there have been too many close calls. State Representative Dave Murphy is calling for a flashing light beacon at the intersection of Hyacinth Lane and Highway 15 at Greenville Drive. This comes after a handful of motor crashes and near misses. Local 5 Samantha Petter spoke with Murphy and brings us the very latest live tonight. Samantha. That's right. Representative Dave Murphy is requesting for a rectangular rapid flashing beacon or RRFB to be installed along Highway 15 right at this crosswalk right here. And as you mentioned, I spoke with Murphy this morning along with a couple of kids from the area who all expressed their concerns for the busy intersection. Scary. Scary because now like my parents are more like super cautious of it now. Along with many other Greenville community members, Parker Lambie and his sister Georgia worry about the dangers of crossing the intersection near the Greenville Community Park. Kids aren't paying attention, also cars aren't. It'd be nice to have something to like warn cars or like make people more aware of their surroundings. Georgia also says she has seen a lot of close calls for accidents, which is one of State Representative Dave Murphy's main arguments for installing a rectangular rapid flashing beacon. We have a park, uh, we have a skateboard park, we have a cluster of ball diamonds where they hold um, baseball and softball tournaments. They want to go to the ice cream store uh, and get some ice cream to cool off. Uh, they get hungry, they want to go over to Subway and have a sandwich. And so there are kids going across here constantly. And now a personal experience has caused him to take extra steps in ensuring the Wisconsin DOT acts on his proposal. Just a few weeks ago, um, a neighbor boy uh, of mine was hit on his bicycle at this intersection. The DOT so far is um, the acknowledgement that they've received a letter. And so our next step then will be, I'm going to follow this up. I'm, we're, we're not going to let this drop. The neighbor boy is recovering from his injuries, but Murphy says safety is his top priority. Studies on the uh, rectangular rapid flashing beacon um, in cutting down on pedestrian uh, accidents has been dramatic. Uh, it, it cuts them um, by, I think, over 90 percent. And... Uh, you know, the kids of Greenville deserve this. They deserve uh, to be safe. Again, he sent a letter to the DOT that was on Friday, and he confirmed that they confirmed that they have received it. But at this point, he's just waiting for an additional response. And in the meantime, he's just hoping to spread the word about this issue, one that he calls a public safety issue.